is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S., as well as a welcoming sight to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays, the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. What are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine? Newspapers, magazines can broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need to travel. How often do you read it? I read it every day. What's the best time to read the newspaper? I think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day. What types of magazines do you usually read? I usually read politics and fashion magazines. I also enjoy reading about culture and tourism. What's your favorite magazine? My favorite is the New York Times, which writes about all sorts of things: business, sports, movies, travel, books, jobs, education, and real estate. Do you read the paper or online news? I prefer online news to save money. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper, so it doesn't cost much money. Around five dollars a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine, a leading source for reliable business news and financial information. With the popularity of internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Yes, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. How many events have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than ten events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students, and then they hosted Q and A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. What subjects did you learn in school? I learned math, science, physics, biology, geography, history, literature, English, art, and music. What subject did you like the most when you were at school? Were you good at it? I liked biology the most, although I was excellent at literature. Did your friends like that subject too? Yes, they did. They enjoyed every single biology lesson. Was the textbook written in English or any other language? It was written in English. Who taught that subject? My teacher was Miss Karen from the USA. How was the subject helpful to you? It helped me a lot in becoming a biology teacher. How often did you learn that subject? I often had biology lessons five times a week. How long did you spend on that subject at home? I spent roughly two hours per day studying biology at home. Have you ever attended any extra classes for that subject? Yes, I have. I usually attended evening classes. Is it important to study hard on both social sciences and natural sciences? No, it isn't. Students should study the ones they like and the ones that are helpful to their career path. What type of museum is popular in your country? There are many types of museums, but the most popular are historical museums. What is the most famous museum in your country? That would be the British Museum, located in London. 
What's special about it? I'm impressed by its large amount of historical, art, and cultural work. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited the museum twice. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? I usually listen to the tour guide and take notes about important information. Are you allowed to take pictures there? No, the guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. How did you feel after visiting there? The overall experience was fantastic, and I learned so many things in just a few hours. What do you think is the importance of museums in history? Museums are an integral part of any country's history, and they keep history alive. Do you usually watch movies at home or at a movie theater? I usually watch movies on my laptop. Sometimes I go to the movie theater. Is watching movies at the theater more interesting than watching movies at home? Yes, definitely, because you can watch vivid images on a large screen with lively sound effects. How often do you go to the movie theater? I often go to the movie theater every weekend. What's your favorite type of movie? What movie of that type do you like? My favorite type is comedy because whenever I watch one, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. I love the Mr. Bean movie series. Was that movie adapted from a book? No, the story is derived from funny situations in real life. Who are the actors or actresses in the movie? Mr. Bean is the main character. He is played by Rowan Atkinson, who is from England. Was it recommended by your friend, teacher, or family? It was recommended by my classmate. Was the movie in your mother language or in English? It was in English, but I can also watch it with subtitles. Should children watch violent movies? I don't believe so. Young children are very impressionable, and it could lead them to wanting to imitate the behavior. What's the most important factor of a great movie? I believe that plot and actors are among the factors which decide the success of a movie. Have you ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food, dairy, and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures. How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3 percent of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. On what occasions do people in your country celebrate parties? There are many occasions when people throw parties, such as New Year's Eve, wedding engagements, family reunions, birthdays, etc. But sometimes people hold parties just when they meet up and want to have something fun to do. Are you a party animal? Yes, I am. I am crazy about going to parties. I love meeting friends, drinking, and talking. When do parties often start and finish? It depends on what kind of party it is. I believe the perfect time to have a party is in the evening, from 8 to 11 p.m. Where are the parties thrown? They are held inside or outside. Some formal events, like weddings, housewarmings, are organized inside, while others, like family reunions and birthdays, may be held outside. What do you usually wear when you come to a party? I often wear casual clothes, like a T-shirt and jeans, if I go to informal parties, and a dress for formal ones. What do people do in the parties you attended? At the party, people talk, eat, and drink together. Some go there to find business opportunities and new partners. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol at the parties? Yes, a little beer can cheer me up. Do people have to bring anything to the party? It's not required, but sometimes visitors bring some gifts to show their love for the host. Why do people, especially the youth, love going to parties?
It's just a good way for them to chill out after a long day. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef.